Hey everyone, in this video we'll be showing you how to rig to the Love Mama Body in Blender. If you're a beginner and want to learn rigging, there are some beginner's guides online to get you started, but you're still welcome to follow along. Before we begin, I want to talk briefly about why this body is different from all other bodies in Second Life. Number one. It is the only body that currently has a growing fetus inside of it where you have the option to see it grow. Number two, it is the only body that can give birth where you receive an Animesh newborn. Number three, it is the only body that comes with a mood meter so other avatars can know how the mother is feeling. Other avatars can offer gifts or hugs to increase the mother's mood. And number four, it is the only body that comes with an advanced pregnancy experience and additional partner HUD. Open the Blender file. Make sure you use the latest Blender 2.83 with the latest Avastar test build. Please remember to save often. The first thing you'll see is the disclaimer and the body with the armature. Please read the disclaimer before moving forward. Please know it's necessary that you have the Avastar add-on for Blender. After reading this disclaimer, move your mouse to the editor type. Click editor type and go to outliner. Now you will see your scene selection where all your meshes are listed. We're going to set up our viewport. Please configure this to your liking. I'm going to move my outline and properties tabs so my 3D viewport's larger. Over here, I've made a pre-made dress that we're going to rig for this tutorial. If you're importing a prefab or any existing clothing article, make sure to rotate it facing the Y axis and apply its rotation. We're going to set up the dress for rigging. First thing you want to do is parent your model to your Avastar rig. Go to Object Properties tab, under Relations, go to Parent, and with the eyedropper select your armature. Next, go to your Modifier Properties right under the Object Properties. Select the first modifier, Data Transfer. The source object, in this case, will be the dress cover. If you're using tight-fitting clothes, please use the Love Mama body. Next, select Vertex Data. Beside Vertex Data in the drop-down menu, select Nearest Face Interpolated. Make sure Vertex Group is selected. Max Distance is 3.0. You want to keep Replace on and Generate Data Layers. This will only take a couple of seconds to generate, then apply your modifier. Add the armature modifier and use eyedropper to select Avastar in your armature modifier under object selection. Don't apply this modifier. Now that you're done, your vertex group should be added. They should be under your object data properties under vertex groups. Once you've applied the data transfer and added the armature modifier, we'll test the weighting to make sure the weight groups applied properly. If you're making a dress, you'll want to smooth the groin area. Make sure you're in object mode, select the armature first, holding down shift to select the dress last. Go to this menu and select weight paint. For the groin, there are four bones that you'll want to smooth. The easiest way to smooth is by first selecting a bone, then vertex selection. While in vertex selection, hit your B key and select the affected area. Go to the weights button and select smooth. In this little tab, change the factor to 1 and iterations to 2. Deselect vertex selection and repeat for the other three bones. Once you're happy with your weighting, you're ready to export. File, Export, Collada Avastar. If you get a rebind error while you have your mesh selected, go to the Avastar tab and under Skinning, you will see a red button that says Rebind. Click the button and that should fix the rebind issue. Another method for rigging. Assume you're building a mesh and you're happy with what you've created. Here we have a dress. We go ahead and right click on the dress and hold shift and right click on Avastar. In the Avastar tab under skinning, you should see the bind to armature button. Under that, we will go to copy from mesh. Under that, we have copy weights from. In this case, unselect all meshes except for dress cover. When you're done with your selection, bind to armature. It will take a minute depending on the amount of mesh normals. If you wish to smooth, refer back to the smoothing part of the video. Sometimes a particular vertex will have more than five weight groups. This can cause part of the mesh to be sharp or inconsistent. 
I'd like to show you how to make sure vertices have only four weight groups, which can help in smooth weighting. Go into weight paint mode, click on vertex selection, and select the vertex you'll be fixing. In the item tab under vertex weights, you will see all your weight groups. While you have that open, in the weight tab, select clean. Then in clean vertex groups under subset, select all groups. You can leave the limit at default or minimum 0.002. As you inspect each vertex, please check the amount of weight groups with the assigned weights. If there are more than four, look for the weight group that least affects that area and remove that weight group. Do this for the affected area. If you made it this far in the video, I'd like to extend a hand of gratitude. I'd like to thank my team in helping make this body a reality. It's been a massive undertaking building such a comprehensive product. It has included a dedicated group of artists, designers, software engineers, animators, 3D modelers, and Second Life experts. Without this team, the body would have never happened. I'm so excited to bring something fresh and new to the community of Second Life. I believe there's always room for improvement with fresh ideas and better experiences. I'm excited to share this product with you. My hope is that the community of Second Life artists adopts this body and creates endless amazing new content for it. If you have any questions or concerns, we have an in-world group you are welcome to join. We hope to see you there.